Hello and welcome to iDrive, powered by Globat. Today we are with you, I am Abhi Kanwar, and we are with Sarwar Hussain Chaudhary. Hey Sarwar, what are you doing? Hey, I'm going to show you a celebrity. I'm going to be the best. Well, to the star of the show today, we are with Nissan Almera, and this Nissan Almera is the replacement for the Nissan Sunny. We are with Nissan Sunny because it's a very popular sedan from Nissan. Uh, Nissan is a very popular company from Japan because they are the makers of the iconic GTR and the very fun to drive 370s Z. So this means that apni jodi ei gaita kenen apni eta Nissan GTR kinchenna but you're getting a lot of expertise from Nissan. They really know what they're doing. Well, Avik, what are the colors um, and pricing? Eta bolar age amar bola uchit ei gaita introduce korechi Pacific Motors Bangladesh for the official dealers for Nissan. The colors available are red as you can see here, silver, grey, brown, white and black. A gari te tin bochor warranty which is very good and Nissan claims they give every warranty recalls that's on the car are uh, 40000 km whichever comes first. Are gari pricing hocche 25 lakhs 90000 and is in direct competition with the Toyota Vios and the Honda City. Well, cholun tahole e gari history ekta amra dekhe the Almera shares the 30-year-old history. The first generation Almera, labeled as the N15 chassis code, was released in 1995. It was a decently successful model as it packed good specifications in a good value package, driven by GA engines that came in the 1.4 or 1.6 litre variant. The cars were not high performance but provided good fuel economy. The second generation Almira or the N16 used Nissan's global MS platform in partnership with Renault and was more spacious, more powerful with the 1.5 liter and 1.8 liter QG engine and offered better safety. The car featured on the iDrive this episode is the third generation or the N17 model, also called the Nissan Latio in many markets. It is now equipped with the improved HR engine that provides more fuel economy and is based on the global V platform that provides excellent interior space, low weight and high crash safety. The exterior has a lot to offer, of course, Karan, uh, even though it is a compact sedan car, it is exciting for Jaina, it is very Nissan it is sporty and very elegant. Uh, keeping in touch with modern times, uh, uh, chrome line, nose grill, diyeche, extra vent for good ventilation and uh, fog lights are standard. The lights are big and uh, pulled back, it is a cuteness effect. Um, wait, wait, let me get this straight. So this car is sporty, elegant and cute. It's an identity complex, but it works. It's, it looks good. In fact, a lot of reviews say that the overall guy looks better than the Vios or the City. But it, of course, uh, there are viewers that say that they have their own opinions. Well, Avik? Well, I think we should not go for the looks on this car, but we should rather go on the practicality. Mm, comes with very thick Bridgestone tires, which are 15 inch, 185, 65, 15. So it should be very comfortable, a road noise will come hobby. and moving further along the side, it's a pretty simplistic design with keyless entry, chrome door accents, and I'm not sure if you have a winker mirror, but it's a winker mirror name, it's fender lights, so I don't know if you have a winker mirror, and there's a very fiesta marca unicorn type radio antenna, unicorn or uh, rhino, there's a pullback tree design tail lights, and something noteworthy is the boot space in the trunk, I mean, it has a lot of cargo room. Right, even if body or rakha jabe, jodi o amra yeta encourage korte na. Shouldn't say that on television. <laughs> Let's pop the hood. All right. The Almera packs a 1.5 liter four-cylinder engine, which has 101 horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. But the fun factor is a gari hoche conventional transmission, so it should be a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, CVT of course uh, on a Kamada Deshimisir like to deal with the problem, feel kore. Judio CVT to beshi fuel trans uh, fuel economy there, but ether fuel economy is also very good. Abong apna jetho torque converter atse, ether kintu initial torque beshi bhalo, to pull ta kub bhalo. Uh, it's a twin cam engine. Among it, our engine design, uh, plenum design, they can be judged. It can do fuel economy, upper base, kora, among torque tonic early as it. So, preppy driving. Uh, it's a shaman actor, Bishal crash bar, they can judge. So, safety features must be really good. It's a Nissan universal safety feature. It's a shop gari team, and the crumple zones are very good. And with the V platform, the chassis has a lot of rigidity. 
and more space inside the car. So Nissan's going, you know, very technologically advanced on even smaller cars. Well, uh, the engine's uh, configuration is good, but let's see how it drives. No, but before we do that, we can also put a Globad maintenance-free battery on this car right here. Our A guys take into conventional power steering, the electronic power steering. So drive for the Bujaja road field camel. But before we do that, let's check out the interior. And before we do that, let's take a short break. Welcome back to iDrive, powered by Globat Maintenance Free Batteries. Cholo namra ekhon Nissan Almera interior to review dekhi. Chala, tava. The 2015 Nissan Almera interior is balanced, modern, and contemporary. Kuch sporty ekta steering wheel atse, which has a good feel. Ebang ekine apna basic audio control atse. There is a lot of Nissan logo, so that you can know that you don't have to worry about your Toyota or your car. You don't have to worry about it. The instrument panel is informative and bright, but not too distracting. You don't have to worry about your temperature, your fuel, your autometer, your range, and your fuel economy. So, the throttle position is heavy, so you can get your information. So, it's not too distracting. You can see your car in your car, so you can focus on your car in your car. You can see your interior. The interior is premium feel, but it's very good. In this entry-level segment, the price range is actually pretty good. You can see your anodized aluminum trim, and the piano black is the center console. The AC switches are the round, circular, there is a panel and there is an amber lighting that is soothing and in this case, our switch is very ergonomic, very confusing. So, this is a vanity mirror, so for female drivers, I advise you to give lipstick to the lipstick. And now, look, this is because this is a vanity mirror, a common reading light, and this is our power outlet. This is a groove that you can keep your cell phone. This is not a good thing. So, this is a setback that you have an auxiliary cable and USB. So, you have to reach. So, you have to ask your wife to handle all that while you focus on driving. So, Avik, how is it at the back? There is ample leg space at the back of the Nissan Almera. The headroom is very good. There is a holder in the back of the car. There is a position in the back of the car. It is very convenient. Nickel accents, anodized aluminum. Overall interior fit and finish is very good. Our seat gula for a compact sedan is very comfortable. Our back there is ample space. You can keep tissue box, books, etc. And you can use the bottle holders as a phone holder or a bottle holder. Both. The only complaint I would have is that there is no pockets in the back of the car. सामने जो व्यूइंग एंगल ये तो बेस भालो एवं सेंटर पीस जेटा वो तो पूरा देखा जाता है टेम्परेचर गेज एसी पैनल एंड कौन रेडियो चैनल चल चें एवरीथिंग इज़ विजिबल सो एस अ पैसेंजर मैं वेरी कंफर्टेबल सो लेट्स सी हाउ दिस कार ड्राइव्स दी ऑल न्यू निसान अल्मेर ड्राइविंग रिव्यू एवं फर्स्ट so if you have cervical spondylitis or gout, that whole long distance journey might be a problem. But then cervical spondylitis only will have a problem anyway. Act a driver has a problem, then you can move along. So, the turning radius of the car is actually surprisingly good. And the car weight is only above one ton. It will be easy because the acceleration initially is a little preppy. So, this is a conventional gearbox, automatic gearbox. The torque converter is too torquey. But, if you accelerate it, it will be easy that it is a little underpowered. So, in Bangladesh, of course, you don't need that kind of power. But it's enough for overtaking procedures, but not much. The instrument panel is informative. Very useful is the average fuel economy, what the fuel consumption of say, and we have to say that this has very good fuel economy, even though it has uh, a conventional gearbox and not a CVT. Even instrument panel is not very distracting, 
which is a good thing because if you want to go from A to B, a garita is actually useful for that. There is not much drama when you're driving it. Jeto Bangladeshi rasta hai to drama tha ke, aur mano hai gari bhi thori drama na tha kli bhalo. Well, piche space on a open. There's a cup holders. Our piche ride comfort ho bhalo. Ek to seat ta reclined, so boshe aaram. Head is gula soft. Our fabric and material ta soft. So as a passenger, I think. I'm I'm pretty comfortable. Hand rest, shop kitchen, milie, and the openness of the car. I'm very comfortable. I think if a driver chala, I mean, piche boshle is is a better car than actually driving it. Well, shamne visibility is actually pretty good. Ek to compromise by the thick A pillars, but jee to it is safety regulation. It juno A pillar gulo ek to strong korte hai. This is a necessity. Overall, I think I would rate it seven and a half out of ten. Around ek sir, I would rate it exactly the same. Okay, but the only thing missing is the back camera. Yeah. So, Cholo, let's head back to the studio. And before we do that, let's take a short break. <laughs>